So the one top left uh, means um, five and nine. Okay, that was just a lot of me um, trying to work this out and not having an awful lot of success on it. So I think I'll give up for the time being. Oh, he's back. Do you have anything more to say to me? In case you didn't notice, I'm not your mother. Stop hating around me. <laughs> have you thought about seeing a psychiatrist? I just feel like hanging around and just bug him now. I can't think what to do. So, I'll leave it till I'm a bit fresher. Okay. So, I had a little run around, a little investigate, and I found three things. Um, uh, so, not that way. There's two things in the library. Here we are, in the library. So there's this box that I cannot open. And there's this over here with this big green button on it. The elevator seems to be damaged. It doesn't work. Right. So... Um, let me make a confession that I cheated. I didn't know what the devil to do with this thing. So I did, I, I looked for hints in the game first and that didn't help. Um, so, um, but uh, apparently um, what we have to do is use this uh, hydraulic piston that we got off of uh, the robot dude and use it on the lift. Oh, and that fixes the lift. Um, maybe we have to stand closer. Uh, uh, it does work. And this gets us to the top part of the library. Secret rights of the art. Amphid you. History of the Zandar Temple. Arts of Magica Volume 31, I think, or something like that. Sorcery, politics, religion, all the books that are forbidden in Omicron. No, I can't pick that one up. I don't know what to do with this, we can't pick that one up. Okay, so let's have a look at the books we just picked up. Oh, it's this damn font again. Right, so I think... Um, I don't think it was that obvious that the that random piston thing fixed the lift. 
Uh, <laughs> I mean, unless you're doing the just try everything in your inventory thing thing with it. Um, so, unmask a demon spell. Cool. To force a demon with the human appearance to reveal his demonical nature. Mix a uh, uh, something? I'm, I'm having real difficulty reading this. Mix a, a sham horn uh, and dew of light in the besom. I think maybe that's what it says. I am not that certain. Sham horn? What? Um, okay. History of the Zendar Temple. Is this going to be in that font? The yeah, array! Right. It's in, in a readable text. Okay. Um, Zendar Temple was built by the great sorcerer Zendar in 890 of the, the Masa Al period of era, something like that. It was a secret temple deep in the foundations of his house. The greatest sorcerers of Faden met there regularly to exchange secrets about the art and take part in secret ceremonies. Zendar's Beshem was one of the most powerful ever made. Ooh, do we get that? The legend recounts the great master took it with him to, to the grave. And this sounds promising. We're going to get his Beshem, uh, which is reputed to be inside the temple itself. The precise location of Zendar Temple is unknown to us today, um, aside from we're friggin' in it, I think. Um, okay. Um, examine Amphidu. Um, secret rites of the art. Examine. Oh my word. Um, thanks so much for this, this hideous font. Um, the resonance ceremony. Man grows up on the earth. Um, it's even harder to read it with this symbol behind it. The Besham shines at the. Oh gosh, what's that say? R Rinith? Zenith? Zenith? Oh, I think it says Zenith. Um, three drops of shadow fall from the ether. From the. Uh, Levent comes the cedar leaf. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Levent. What? What? No. Anyway, we need a cedar leaf. We're gonna we're gonna assume we need a cedar cedar leaf. Um, from the sunset comes the amphidew. We have amphidew. We have that. Um, skull powder rots in the earth. Two candles light the way between the man and infinity. So we have two candles. We don't have skull powder. We do have amphidew. We don't have cedar leaf. We don't have three drops of shadow. Um, uh, how do you get three drops of freaking shadow? And we don't have the Beshem yet. We have the man. Oh no. Um, wait, not a man. So, so I guess... I guess my gender has just um, messed this whole thing up. Should we see, assume it means man or woman? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll assume it means that. We'll assume it means mankind, yeah. We'll assume it means human. Okay, and now I'm going to show you the third thing, what I found. Assuming I go the right way. I think, I think it's this way. Is it this way? No, no, it's not this way. Ah, not this way. Ah. Uh. Ok, 
Okay, it's this way. So I must have looked at this before. So one of the doors we can fiddle with um, are one of them we cannot fiddle with. I must have looked at this before, presumably when I came in, but I didn't realise that they were, you know, that there were two different ones essentially. I think I just looked at, I just think I just went, oh, these are the same. And yeah, didn't realise there was one that you could um, change the symbols on and one that you couldn't. Um, so, um, yeah, when I when I did my little run around, I, I wrote all these down so that as to save time, and um, I have, oh, I have in my book, let me see, let me get my book out, have all the, the numbers, <coughs> one to nine, so I've written all those down, and if you remember, I thought previously that maybe the key to the door was the, the difference between the numbers, because well, I only had the one set of symbols to look at, and well, that didn't work, so. Maybe this one will help us. I'm pretty sure it will. So the first one we have on the left, top left. That symbol means, let me see. means eight and then the uh, the following the uh, still still top left top left and symbol on if you you'll stay with me top top left quadrant but uh, of that quadrant symbol on the right Um, that one is a six, and the one below it is a two. So essentially, that quadrant, um, the symbols on the right of that quadrant add up to make the symbol on the left of that quadrant. So six and two make eight. So we're good so far. Um, so, then let's do the one on the right, um, shall, um, I'll just work from left to right on this one, so that we've got two matching symbols, both on the left, so they both are... They're both three, so I'm expecting the symbol on the right to be a six, and it is. So it looks like we just have to add them up. I think... Okay. So, now bottom left, the symbol far left, far bottom left, we don't have that symbol, so this might have been why I think this is why I was doing the difference on the other door because we couldn't actually work out what the answers were because we didn't actually have the symbol for it. But if I work out what the other symbols are, I should be able to work out what that number is. Um, so the top one, a bottom left, is. an eight, 
and the bottom one is a six. So that me makes bottom left a eight. 14. So we've got in it ourselves a new symbol which is 14. So I can, I'm going to write down my symbols after 9, I'm going to write 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and put in the symbol for 14. So I think bottom right um, is top one is one again we've not seen, I don't think, no, and then, I th and then below that is a four. And then I think, I think the, the bottom right, far, far right, um, far bottom right is um, the symbol for 14 again, which would make the unknown symbol a 10. So essentially from this door, we've discovered two, two new symbols, one for 14 and not one for number 10. So hopefully um, we can either use these two numbers to work out numbers 11, 12, 13 in between, although they're quite different, um, assuming we need them, or they're the two numbers that we need to fill in our answers. From, from the other door. Um, oh, sorry, I keep doing that. Um, so, let's go and have a look at the other one and see if uh, see if I can do that one now. But uh, we should uh, should be able to should be able to do it. Okay. Um, so I can, I can't. I didn't. Uh, so it was five and um, nine. Nine. So it's fourteen. We need to put fourteen. The symbol fourteen in here. Um, oh. Which is. Um, was it that It looks down a bit different on this door. I think it's closest to that one. I think it's that one. It looks a bit drawn differently on this one. Okay, so below that is um, four and six. Oh, which is ten. So we definitely need those two numbers, or we could not do this. So it's, which is that one. Okay. So, and this one should be um, six and um, whatever that one is, um, six and one, which is seven, which is a straightforward one. Um, which is that one, and finally seven and two, which is nine, which is that one. And that sounded like a success noise. You have discovered the entrance to the Temple of Zendar. Well, I've unlocked it. Somewhere beyond this door lies the Master's tomb and his powerful Besham. 
May you be able to bring it back so that its power can serve our destiny. Go, and may Viagrimuka guide your steps. May who guide my steps? Oh, gosh, that's a long name, isn't it? I hope you don't expect me to pronounce that name any time. <laughs> this is an interesting area. Oh, I hope this isn't a big pit I can fall down into. I kind of... Ooh. It's... I think it's cool. Well, I may dive into that. Is this a door? It is a door, but it's shut. I think I might dive down into that pool. Oh, there looks like there's stuff on here. There is stuff. I'll pick it up. There's definitely rings. I will have that. Give it to me. Pick it up. Thank you, five of them. Drops of shadow! Hey! That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's go. Let's be brave about this. Let's not freaking drown, yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too good at this. Ah, shoot. Oh, oh poop. I think I might I just go. Ah, shoot, 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 shoot. Don't flame and drown, you stupid man. Okay. It's too easy to drown, I think. Man, it is easy to drown in here. I did it. Oh no, don't do that. Let's get out. Okay. That, <laughs> that swimming is a... <laughs> I could so easily have drowned. Okay. So where am I now? Oh, at the top of an enormous drop. Okay. I'm, I'm glad I took um, the patience to look around or I could have just lost a load of my health there. Um, which I didn't really want to do, so... Um, I've no idea. Why do I get a feel at that? Ah, are there some rings up there? I would like to use those, I think. I did just pick up five rings. So I feel confident about, you know, using those rings. Uh, it, there might not be a fight, but I'm not taking any chances. It looks like, you know, this is some kind of arena. What do you think? Of course, this might just be a cer the ceremony room. It could just be the ceremony ring where we make our... Oh, this is his tomb. Verdadier, whatever his name is, his jewel. That looks like his, his best sham, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, powder from Dead Man's Skull. Uh-oh. We can't take it. Damn it. Damn it, we can't take it. You've made a grave miscalculation, okay. Okay, is there anything we can get rid of? We could potentially um, maybe use uh,
yeah, we could use that. Um, yeah, that was fine. So we can take that now. Does this mean we can do the ritual? So I think, I think that's pretty much. That's the force of the demon spell. Okay. Besham shines at the zenith. Three drops of shadow fall from the ether from the Levant. Oh, so cedar. We don't have a cedar leaf. We have the amphidew. We have the skull powder. We have the candles. If I look at this, it's an altar. It's also an altar, and they have symbols on them. supposed to get that from? So I've definitely found the temple and I found the Besham. I'm, I'm kind of assuming that you put all the things onto the I suppose I can just experiment with using the things on the things. Or do I put them into the best gem? I don't know. So if I can, yeah. No, it doesn't work. No. It's an altar as well. Lots, lots of altars. Put that this the uh, dead man's skull powder onto that altar. Um, this doesn't work. Um, use yeah, that doesn't work. Amphidub use that worked. That worked. Um, Use the jewel, maybe? Use the jewel? That doesn't work. I don't know what else we need. Um, dead man's tongue, use? No? Ah, uh, dead man's tongue. <laughs> ah. I think I'm missing the cedar leaf. I don't know where to get the cedar leaf from. Do I just use the best gem on this, maybe? No. Is it on? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, so I did put that on there. Oh, I need to use the candles, don't I? Oh, which I don't have. Uh. I don't think I have everything. I might just have to go back and like raid my inventory or something because I don't think I have everything. But I don't, I don't know where I'd get that. I 
shouldn't have to swim down that damn corridor now. Oh, I can't even walk straight. Oh. Hope I can actually, you know, not drown. Don't drown, mate. Oh, poop. Don't drown. Do not friggin' drown. Do not drown. There you go, if you can not drown, that would be useful. Thank you. I hope I've actually come out in the right place and not just swung around the circle. <laughs> okay, that looks like the right place now. It's probably just exactly through to the same place. It's just I can't. It's not just a cedar leaf just lying around here, is it? Of course it was. Let's swim down that stupid tunnel again. Is this a thing? It looks like it might be a thing. Is this a... Hooray! It is the leaf which I, which I require. It is the one leaf. That doesn't look like a cedar tree. How does that look like a cedar tree? Um, do not drown me. Do not drown me. Drown me and I will be cross. I will be so cross. Oh, poop. I mean, really. I will be cross. I will be cross with you. Hooray! Okay, I think I actually have all the things. So, this would be where I put my leaf. I'm gonna be a, become a goddamn sorcerer. That's right. Um, so where do I put my candles? Where, um, I guess I put my candles on, on here. And then I stand in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do now. What do I do now? Don't I just stand in the middle? Um, I have to light the candle? I've done everything, haven't I? Do I have to use the jewel? No? Do I have to use the jewel with the best gem? No. What do I have to do then? Dude. Okay. <laughs> do I have to eat the tongue? <laughs> um. Man grows up on the earth, yeah? I've done all that. <laughs> wasn't standing in quite the right place. Now I've become a motherfucking sorcerer. That 
that's it. Now that Beshem is attuned to my soul. Now, if I have two ingredients, I can use it to make my own spells. Sanctified Beshem. No one better take this off me. I don't understand. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if I can have any of my stuff back. I guess not. I guess I can't have any of this stuff back. I guess it's used now. I guess it was one use only. Do I dare? Um, I don't... I don't suppose that door's opened or anything, has it? Nope, nope, this looks like the only way out. I'm gonna have to go for the, the dangerous, dangerous swim again. Swim of doom. I think I'm getting used to the swim of doom. It's just the controls being so dodgy, basically. It wouldn't be so bad, but these controls are really dodgy. <laughs> this is where he tries to take the Bashem off me, and I'm just like, no! Don't you dare, and if you kill me, I will come back even more powerful. I like that he's locked his door on me now. He's like, no, no dude, you keep bugging me. So, so I'm going to go and talk to the boss dude, basically because I've got no idea what else to do. Hey boss dude. Oh yeah, I'll show him my Beshem. So, you found Zendler's Beshem? Mine now. I don't know how you managed it, but you have accomplished a great exploit. It is an object of great power. Mm -hmm. And now it's mine. I'm a sorcerer now. You still lack knowledge. But yes, you can now make your own spells by mixing the ingredients in your Beshem. Yes, that's right, in my Beshem. Thanks, I'll try to make good use of it. Perhaps I should have asked him where I could buy ingredients from. Um. Oh, it's a one-shot deal, I can't ask him now. The hell? That's it? Um, I have literally no missions. It's like, I have no purpose in my life now. Dude. Um, so I have no missions, so, so what am I supposed to do? Okay, so I think I will actually go um i think it's this way um is it yes no where's the lift yeah up to the shops and the temple and all that let me see if i can get any of the ingredients I'm looking for. Maybe I can even get some books with spells, some money, some something. Oh, this is got See if I go on the bench, there's anything more to say to me. Sometimes I do. Do you know where I can find an armory? Yes. Um, in what district? He knows all the districts. I think it's Jonpa that we're in now. I know one in Jonpa, next to the Anakbar Gate, and another one near the temple. So there's one near the temple. It says this is a drugstore. I think we've been to this drugstore before. Is it just in here? Let's see what all the different yes. things sell are. Um, oh, Goodbye. they just sell medicates and that's it. 
I don't think I actually have much money because I think I actually spent it all on medikits and now I need to buy magic stuff. So I might need to somehow find a way to make money. Or, or sell stuff at the bank. I don't know if that gem I bought is plot important or whether I can just sell it at the bank for money. I'm guessing if it's plot important it won't let me sell it. Oh, this is this is where I came. Okay, so it said there was an armory near the gate. So I can see some. I'm new here. Can we talk for a couple of minutes? Um, do you never see the sun here? You really come from another planet, stranger. Omicron has been covered by a crystal dome ever since our son Radhan died a couple of thousand years ago. Sorry, I didn't know. Well, let's see if I can call a slider and it will bring me to somewhere. really know what to do aside from go to the hideout again and oh it's gonna run friggin over. So how did we get to this hideout thing? Involved going around somewhere didn't it? By me. Excuse me mate. That's my. It's got a save point in it. Oh, so she's here this time. Oh, uh. I took the liberty of making myself at home. An order for a mission has come for you. Right, why can the boss guy give it to me? Um. Well, well, the door... I'm not going to ask her where she got... What's the mission? The Tetra Trust is finishing an ultra-sophisticated prototype of a mecha guard, the ZTEC 4000. Your mission is to infiltrate the secret factory where the ZTEC is made and destroy all the installations. Why don't I just hack the mechas? I've done that before. Um... How must I destroy the factory? To destroy the factory, you must place eight timed detonators on the control panels of the assembly line. Oh. Socks got them ready for you. Here they are. He told me to wish you the best of luck on your mission. Worst impression ever. Um, where is the secret Tetra factory? There's someone called Kazep who should know its exact location. It certainly won't be easy to get him to talk, but he's our only source of information. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Tell me about Kazep. He's an ex-soldier who worked for Tetra. Now he runs an armory in Zone 29. Okay. Tell me how I get into the secret factory. If there's a way, Kazef knows it. Very well, I'll go and ask Kazef a few Good questions. Good luck. Is that a new thing on my desk? 
time bombs, yeah, okay. Why did you have to come here for that? And why did they give me the location of the safe house so early when, you know, there was nothing f here? I mean, they could have told me she was here. What? Okay, so that's the gun shop, is it? ask you a few questions. What do you want from me? Um, has Todd you familiar with the Tetris secret factory? I don't know what you're talking about. Get out of here if you don't want to buy anything. Didn't you work there as a soldier? If you don't get out of here, I'll have to call the police. I don't even... So one of the ways I could persuade him would be to bodies to this lady who could possibly persuade him but she's probably got terrible stats probably the only way that makes sense at this particular point. We just make a point of her being charming. So let's have a go, shall we? Yeah, perhaps we could while it away together. What? What do you mean? If you tell me what I want to know, I may be very nice with you. Why not? What do you want to know? What's the secret? Where's the secret Tetra factory? The secret factory is at 2130 Madib Street. How can I get in there without being noticed? Don't use the main entrance. It's too well guarded. I've heard of a way in from the sewers, but I don't know exactly where it is. 
Where can I find a map of the sewers around here? In the local bookshop, no doubt. Hmm. Perfect. That's all I wanted to know. All right. Now I've told you all you wanted to know. It's your turn to respect your promise. I don't know what you're talking about. Bye bye, baby. Thanks for the information. Cow. You stupid cow. See you soon, Bunny. So let's have a look at this body. Attack 17. Oh, she's a tar disciple, so she's not. Body resistance 40. Oh dear, that's not good. But everything else is, is reasonable. Um, her name is Iman. Um, rents her protection services to highly placed Omicron dignitaries. Her, her majesty in combat techniques and her great beauty makes her companies much sought after in spite of her rates, which are highly exorbitant. So I should still have... Um, where are we? Yeah. So basically, I didn't have much money anyway. Um, she might even have more money. So spending it as I did on health potions was probably a good idea. It. I think that's it. Okay, map, map, please. Hope you got a map for me, dude. You got a map for me? Hello. Hello. I'd like to buy something like a map. Plan of the sewers. Thank you. Oh yeah, she's got way more money than I had. That was that was worth it just for the money. Hmm. Have a nice day. No problem. Now then. How's she doing for health? How is she doing for health? Do with a bit more. There we go, 200. Let's take her to the medical facility and buy a load of health kit, shall we, with that money that she's got. Thank you to my epic patrons who make videos like these possible. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe.